It's the most polluted city in the Western Hemisphere, with more than four million cars choking up its roads on a daily basis. But Mexico City says it now has an innovative solution to contamination levels that are often triple the recommended maximum. The Via Verde, or Green Way, vertical gardens built onto motorway support columns. The plants will be fed using the same rainwater that falls onto the motorway above, and the project's founders claim their plants will neutralise as much as 27,000 tonnes of harmful gases every year. Es el proyecto más grande de jardines verticales del planeta. Para darte una idea, este proyecto busca transformar más de mil columnas del segundo piso periférico en 60,000 metros cuadrados de jardines verticales. The project came about through a change.org petition, which garnered more than 80,000 signatures in a week from Mexican citizens keen to see more of Mother Nature. Pero que uno cuando va a un paisaje, ve un paisaje, ya sea en pintura, ya sea este, en vivo, ya sea, o sea cualquier cosa que nos rodee de, de plantas, de flores, de todo eso, siempre nos va a parecer perfecto, o sea, eso es muy vistoso. With the construction of the first 50 of over 1400 columns already complete, the project has drawn international attention, with industrial Indian cities in particular waiting to see whether the Via Verde might be a solution to their own pollution problems. We were all very excited because it's been years that we've been working on this. And yes, we hope that this idea will expand all over the world. If not all over the world, if not all over the city, if not all over Mexico, but that it will be our great arena to generate a change. In the meantime, the city hopes its commuters will arrive at their destinations with a little more spring in their step. Alistair Bavistock, Press TV, Mexico City.